how to overcome personal cringe but cringe aside for $25 see what this can do to your phone I don't know how many of you have been in front of the camera, but the cringe energy that is packed inside is ridiculous. So basically, we're here to review this. It's a lens, a couple of lenses inside actually. I was planning content for the channel. I was thinking I probably needed a wider lens to capture more of the scene, but if I want to get into tight corners and all that. But the price for wide lenses, uh, them cost. Okay, let me see if there are alternatives for iPhones because the iPhone camera is actually really, really good. But if you didn't get the iPhone 13 Pro, you have a poor depth of field on the widest lens. Maybe there are lens options and maybe they're not too expensive. I saw one, it's quite popular. Can't really remember the name now. Probably put the link in the description. That lens is like a hundred dollars and i'm like i think that's too much and then i saw one for 25 dollars and it was the best one that's basically this from a company called apexel i don't know if i pronounced it right but let's move on it comes with six lenses and to be fair i only needed two out of it i wanted a wide angle lens and a macro lens basically because i wanted to be to get a wider field of view when i'm shooting reviews or get detailed shots when i want to get closer to the subject so that's all I needed, but I got four other lenses, which I'm not going to complain. And some of them are actually interesting, which we'll get into in a moment. So let's talk build quality. Now, it was $25. I wasn't expecting anything amazing out of the box, but it's good to be surprised every once in a while. The lenses feel well made. They are all metal, as I would expect. The clip is made out of plastic, but good quality plastic. So it's not like it feels flimsy or anything and actually has a steady grip on your phone. To screw the lenses onto the clip is pretty easy. The threads are well done as well. Everything about the build quality is fine. Feels nice, has some decent weight to it. The only thing I didn't like were the, what's it called? Uh, the star, the star filter lens and the CPL filter lens. These two lenses have a ring, so it allows you to get rid of reflections, actually change the contrast a little bit which was pretty interesting. I didn't think I would have any use case in Europe for it, but does it feel good? Don't mind me. This is just me picking. It's fine. It does the job. If for any reason you were adjusting and capturing audio, then you get that. But I don't see you doing that in the first place. So moving on. Overall, the build quality of all the lenses are really good. They don't feel flimsy at all. So in terms of build quality, for me 100 now let's talk about image quality now they're really good like really really good but they're not perfect and they don't need to be there's some issues which i'll get into in a moment I actually don't mind them. i like some flaws in there to give it whatever creative effect it's going to have it can get a bit blurry around the edges but it didn't happen all the time once you're able to center it properly on the iphone you're not going to have any issues now the macro lens is by far my favorite out of the entire bunch not because it has better quality but i just love how macro shots look the shallow depth of field the extreme focus on something very narrow in the center of the screen is just the best thing in the world for me to see like i can never get tired of that look and i was surprised at how good it was it was pretty sharp it was blurry where it needed to be there's some slight chromatic aberration again i didn't really mind because everything in the center of the screen is pretty clear so if it happens around the edges it's fine i think it can add some flair to your shots but i had no complaints about the macro lens it did exactly what i needed to do now it is slightly distorted in the sense that when you're moving through the macro shot it can get slightly distorted but i think these are things that you can fix in post 
it doesn't really take from what you are trying to create at the end of the day and if these are still shots you're not going to have any issues there now let's talk about the wide lens my experience was very similar to the macro lens again it gets distorted it's not the sharpest image so i could correct whatever softness in post but overall the lens was good it gave me the wide field of view and the difference is very stark i'll put something up so that you see that you can notice that all you can see in this shot is the camera that's a big difference now let's talk about the fish eye lens so when i got this lens back it was something i thought i would never use but the quality is good it's not perfect again i don't really have a frame of reference because it has a circular crop around the frame it's gonna sound like a broken record by now but all these lenses have some amount of chromatic aberration for the most part you're not really going to notice it and as long as you place it carefully on the center of the lens of the phone you're not going to have issues with like vignetting or extremely blurry edges now one issue i did notice and i think this is something that may not necessarily be peculiar to these lenses i think it may exist on all other mobile phone lenses especially on the iphone the clip may block the led light at the back so if you are going to use the flash uh, you're out of luck you're either going to cast a shadow or it's just not going to look right that should be something you should be aware of so my final thoughts i think it's a good investment you can get more variety of shots for just spending 25 dollars it's six lenses that are useful in various use case scenarios i think it can really give you lots of variety and for $25, you can get so much more out of your main phone camera. So if you're interested in getting these lenses, I've left links in the description. Obviously, it's at no extra cost to you and it will support the channel. So I appreciate that. Until the next one, stay safe.